at the end of this video you should learn something and apply it in your next birthday flyer design that you are going to come up with right so this is also here from serene arts and in today's video i'm going to show you how to design a simple birthday flyer in pizza lab right so in this video i've actually used the picture of the president of ghana his excellency nana ado dango kufu ado right so just a quick disclaimer over here this is a tutorial for educational purposes only there's not much attached to it right so i just want you to learn from this and apply it in your next design right just happened that this is actually the birthday of the president at the time i'm recording this particular video which is the 29th of march 2022 right so enough of the talking let's jump into the main video so i'm going to clear off everything over here and start from scratch like this so the first thing we have to do is to work on our background size uh probably we are going to use the square which is one one two eight zero by one two eight zero that is one is to one aspect ratio so once that is there we just have to come here delay this test we don't actually need it okay so the first thing that we are going to work on is probably bring in uh, the subjects in this case the president's image so i'm going to tap on the hexagonal tool and tap on imports i've already removed the background of the picture using photo room application so i'll just import it over here and crop out the photo room you know watermark after that i'll tap on a check mark and i'll have the image over here like this so what i have to do now is to increase the size of the image let's say to something like this and bring it down here i think this place is okay for me good so at this point i can go ahead and lock the layer over here now what i have to do is to work on the background of this particular design right so for the background we're going to use a gradient background so we tap on color over here and with the gradient selected we will have to actually come up with our own gradient and for this one i've already set up the gradient over here which is this one over here right it is a radial gradient let me tap on a plus sign to show you what i mean by radiant gradient so the radial gradient is this particular one over here right so when you select this one the middle this slider will be at the middle whereby you can actually you know play around with and see uh how best you want it to actually spread across i mean the lightning effect at the middle how you want it to spread across that's how you're going to do it okay so this is just the setup over here in case you want the color code and stuff uh, let me just show you quickly so for this particular one the color code is uh 3c4474 that's the color code and when you come to the one over here the color code is 1c2649 right so basically that is it and i'm going to tap on just cancel and we will have our you know background setup over here now we have to proceed with the other things we have to do for this birthday flyer so what we have to do now is to import our other background that we'll be using which i've actually manipulated in pixels like the one i showed you in my previous video so i'm going to import it over here which is actually the ghana flag so i'll tap on a check mark and use the relative position to or relative size to and position this like this after that i'll have to tap on a check mark once i tap on a check mark the next thing i have to do is to push this image to the back of our subject and at this point i have to reduce the opacity of it and see how best it can blend so i think this is okay like 42 is okay so i have to go ahead and lock the layer as well at this point i can go ahead and insert a shape so this shape that i'm inserting over here i'll just increase the radius of it like this then reduce the size and what i have to do now is to go and increase the stroke to 40 percent that's 40 and increase the blur radius to 25 right we want to use this as a shadow to cover up part of the picture that is showing like sharp cuts okay so what we have to do now is to tap on color once we tap on color we enable it and we select the blue black over here right ideally you have to pick the blue black color from the subject right you have to pick the color from the subject so that's what i do i pick the color from the subject and i'm equally going to do that right now just to make sure that my work is okay now i want to do something really quick about 
the image i mean the shape we inserted so let me go back to edit and just make sure the white part is close like that so i can now tap on a check mark and see what i'll be having over here okay this is what i'll be having right so i can now go ahead and even change the color to that of black okay like this and i'll just bring it down here and so this is what we'll be having over here like this so once we put it over here you can now go ahead and also lock it as well so after locking it you are now left with inputting your test and your stuff onto this maybe if you want to add your maybe your social media handle to the birthday flyer you can equally do it but before we go to that part let's start with the happy birthday and start right so i'm going to type happy birthday okay let me do that quickly so capital h like this so happy tap on okay then for the font uh, i'm going to use one font and let me just check through so i'm going to use christmas wish calligraphy it's part of the font that i gave away so you can just check through them you will see it okay so calligraphy uh christmas calligraphy or christmas wish calligraphy yeah this is the font that i'm going to use so i have to work on a padding of it just to make sure every part of the test is showing so uh i want to use 19 by 19 i just want to make sure that everything is okay then i can now position it at the middle perfectly like this okay at this point i have to go ahead and enter the test birthday and for the birthday i'll be using akira that's the phone that i'll be using akira expanded so let me just bring it down here then go and look for my akira expanded okay i think yeah it is right here this akira expanded demo so that's the phone i'm going to use i have to increase the size of it i think this is okay now let me reduce the size a little bit maybe 60 should be fine for me so i have to position it at the middle as well like this good but for the happy i think it is too big i have to reduce the size of it a bit now i think 98 is okay i can now position it at the middle then bring it down onto the birthday test a bit like this at this point we just have to go ahead and enter the president's name and stuff over there so like whoever you are designing the flyer for you just enter the person's name over there so i have the name over here already and i'm going to use montserrat board for this particular one so in total i'll be using like three fonts in this video that is akira expanded montserrat and the christmas wish calligraphy so let me just go ahead and reduce the size of this particular test i just inserted which is actually the name of the person we are designing the flyer for in this case the president so let me work on it i think 18 is good so i cannot position it at the middle like this perfect i think this is perfect right so what we have to do now is maybe enter some tests like the president of the republic of ghana all right so in your case if the person is kind of uh, holding some position you can actually put it over there so let me just go ahead the president of the republic of ghana not china ghana good so i'm going to make it all capitalized and bring it down so probably i am going to reduce the size of it way more than that of the name okay so i can now position it at the middle like this okay so i think this is perfect for me now so at this point we can now go ahead and add our own you know stuff if you want to add that is the person who designed a fly if you want to add something like that you can go ahead and do that so i'm going to insert this shape and that's the shape we are going to use for that particular job so let's have a look at it now look at what i'm doing i've made sure that what i stretch this shape to fit onto the screen just something perfect like this okay at this point i can go ahead and increase the radius a bit so let's say three percent is good for me then i'll tap on a check mark and at this point i have to bring the shape down down so once i'm i bring it down i have to position it well and make sure it is down like this so what i'm going to do now is to use the relative size and 
increase the width a bit but this time i'm sure the width will not go further more but we can use our our hand to do it manually so let me do that quickly and see the reason why i'm doing this is to make sure that the curved edge of our shape shows that's the main reason we have to make sure this thing fits onto the screen properly so if you see me adjusting this it's mainly because of that right i think this is perfect now good so we can now bring it down to the bottom of our design like this then we put a test on it so i'm just going to copy this and put over there something like uh designed by saying as but i'm just going to put something like uh, copyrights uh, 2022 then i'll write serene ads right so i'm just using this to depict something to show something right so for this particular test the color that we'll be using should be something either black or blue so i think i'll go with black for now i will tap on the check mark then go to relative position to size this bring it down here and that will be all so now let's push down this particular image or shape to the downside like this and this is how it is going to be appearing now this is how to design the whole simple birdie fly that we are talking about this is how to design it now if you want to actually play around or manipulate some of the stuff you can manipulate the background and this is how we do it so watch me as i take you through so you tap on a layer button you go and select the background in this case the flag of ghana and what you have to do now is to come to the color filters then you play around with it then you see the one that you like then you go for it okay that is how you play around it let's say you like this one you go for it you just tap on a check mark go ahead and save your work if you don't like that one you still play around with it and see the one that you actually like okay if you like this one you go ahead tap on a check mark you save your work okay so basically that is it and i hope you've actually learned something out of this short video and i hope it's going to help you in your next graphic design work that you're going to come up with right so if you really enjoy this video don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel turn on notifications so that each and every time i upload a new video you get to receive notifications this is godsway here and i hope to see you in my next video bless up